friends, welcome back. My name is Addie of Well Loved Clothing and I'm so excited for today's video because we are doing the second part of my little mini series of the Fashion Week street style videos that I did last week. So we are going to be shopping our closets using images from New York and Paris Fashion Week and just recreating outfits that are inspired by some amazing looks from the street style of those runway shows. So if you haven't seen last week's video, I recreated London and Copenhagen's Fashion Week street style. So go check that out if you haven't seen it yet. But today we are going to recreate some amazing images from Paris and New York's Fashion Week street style. So we are going to channel all of the chic, all of the black, all of the just interesting layers and fun that comes with the street style from those shows and use pieces that we already own to recreate those looks, making them feel just like us and be super inspired by other people's fashion choices while making them our own. So let's get into it. So before we get into all of the styling, I wanted to share some of my new favorite pieces from Parade. If you haven't heard of Parade before, I have been a longtime lover of Parade. They're an amazing undies company that is women owned, size inclusive, has really high quality and adorable products that I have been loving recently. I'm actually wearing their undies and bra right now, but that is not what I want to talk to you about today. I want to talk to you about their picnic collection. So they just launched an amazing spring collection with so many cute pieces, some embroidery, some amazing new colors in sets. So so I want to share some of my favorite pieces from that collection. So the first little set that we're going to look at from this collection is my new favorite thing that I own because it is so comfortable and so breathable and cute, perfect for spring, but also just supportive and makes me feel really good. So this is the Henley Boxer Short and this is the Lush Rib Henley Bralette. I got both pieces in the color Formal Garden and both in a size small. They fit very true to size and the color is just absolutely gorgeous. Both are actually in the Lush Rib, which is my favorite fabric from them. It's just soft and stretchy. You can see that amazing ribbing detail, but what you can't see is how soft these are. But they also have just really supportive bands across the bottom of it, and it doesn't dig in, but you still feel held in. So best little set. On top of that, the shorts, so comfy, so stretchy, still have that great wide waistband that's going to just fit and hold you in really well, but it's still really comfy to wear like under any clothes, or you can toss a blazer on with some sneakers and just run to the store and have this be your cute little outfit from the day. But my favorite thing about this set are the adorable little cherry blossom buttons that Parade has put on this little Henley style. I just feel like it really elevates it to the next level and takes your undies to a place that just feels so much cuter than just regular kind of undies. So love this set. So these are my favorite pieces from Parade's picnic collection, but they have so many other pieces in this collection and just all over their website that are so adorable but this collection is their most sought after collection and the pieces sell out so fast which makes perfect sense because they're so adorable so run don't walk and click the link in my bio to shop parade and use my code loved 40 for 40 percent off of their site let's get back into styling some of these amazing street style looks Okay, we are going to start with outfits from Street Style from New York Fashion Week. I loved New York Fashion Week this year. I feel like there was so much street style that was still that same kind of utility, same kind of like baseball cap, oversized blazer feel. And so the first one that we're going to start with, I love so much. I feel like it's kind of my style, but maybe even a little bit more chic, a little more Parisian. So it's funny that it's New York street style, but it is this image. I love that it still has the fun kind of playfulness with the colors and the green and the yellow and the orange glasses mixed with that really chic brown. But my favorite part are the textures in this look. I feel like the big rib knit kind of turtleneck with this tweed jacket that almost looks like a thick knit sweater. And then the leather pants is just so fun all paired together. And though it is a very chic silhouette, I feel like that's where all that personal style comes from with the texture and pop of green and pop of yellow. So I'm really excited to try this because I like to go in a little bit more of a chic direction and I do have some cognac leather pants that I think we can make a really cool outfit like this, but I still want to hone in on that low bun, simplicity, but still elevated kind of look. So let's go after this one. texture. Yes to these colors. I love this outfit. I feel like this is still the fun kind of quirky colorful me in like a chic sort of different way. So I went more of the crocheted sweater route because I don't really have a jacket that has this amazing texture but I love a really textural sweater and layering it with some fun colors and a turtleneck and whatnot. So I started wanting to do this amazing sweater knowing that I was going to kind of keep the brown palette and do some pops of colors. So from there I went with my little suede cognac pants that I think look 
look so cute with the brown and the sweater, but also kind of play that same texture as her leather pants in this inspo pick. And from there, I wanted to do some pops of green because I love the green that she has in her jacket. So I did a little chic turtleneck. It has a little cable knit detail at the front that I just thought was another chic kind of pop of something fun to this outfit. And then I wanted to do a pop of color bag because I love her little yellow bag. So I went with orange because I love the orange and green together. But I wanted to keep it really chic and so I just tossed on a really great perforated little leather boot. I just think they're really chic with the pointy toe and the skinny heel. So this is just a really cute outfit and I love this kind of textured jacket, textured pants, simple turtleneck sort of combo. So loving this look. Let's keep styling. This next look is just so much fun. So it is this amazing outfit and I just love the playfulness of this but I like that it still kind of all comes together in that place of like the checkered print because you have that checked pant and then the patchwork on the jacket kind of plays with like a feel of being checkered too but then throwing on the fun vintage scarf and the crazy makeup just feels so personal and so quirky and so I love how quirky this is. I definitely want to evoke kind of the fun mismatchiness of this look by probably throwing on a scarf that doesn't really match and then pairing the earrings with that scarf. It just makes it all cohesive and of course texture play is still a big deal in this I even think the pants are like a denim or a canvas and so they add a heavier weight to that and then the silkiness of the scarf paired with the suede of the jacket is just such a cool juxtaposition so I'm gonna go after this probably make it a little bit more wearable for my everyday but I just love this look so let's do it <laughs> Okay, this look is so much fun and so unexpected. I really didn't know what kind of jacket I was going to use. I do have a couple that are like plaid or kind of play a little patchworky but aren't actually patchworked, but I really wanted to go for a patchwork one and I totally forgot about this amazing double suede patchwork scalloped jacket. And I really love the way that it plays with these checked pants too. I think it's such a fun juxtaposition and kind of pattern mix with this neutral and bold blue color. So I love how those came together. And then I wanted to keep the rest of my accessories neutral except for that really fun pop of scarf at the neck So I just did this really bold really colorful scarf that has some of the same kind of blues But that's what I love about her outfit her scarf kind of has some colors from the outfit But it's also just like really bright and different So I went with that same idea and have this really bold scarf did a little blue earring to match the scarf and the pants and kind of tie it all together And this is just such a fun way to wear your jackets kind of more so as a top but also playing with some vintage accessories playing with some colors and just really going wild with it. But I'm gonna give you a little close-up for these patterns because I just think that they're so fun because this tan in these pants, it's more of like a creamy white, I think looks so good with the tan that's in this jacket because they're not the same at all and so it is really unexpected. But something about the scarf having the blue and the pants having the blue and then the boot having the brown and the jacket having the brown just kind of ties this whole thing together and sort of speaks to each other. So I love how this came together. We are gonna move on to the next outfit. This next image kind of mirrors one that I did in last week's video from Copenhagen Fashion Week. And it had that split dress slash skirt kind of thing going on. And I saw a lot of these skirts. So it is this look. There were a lot of people wearing this split plaid skirt in a few different colors. But this outfit I just loved because she takes this really loud kind of bold outfit with this bold pattern turtleneck and this split really bold skirt and just puts a leather jacket and some simple chunky boots and a belt and glasses and there's something so casual and easy about it it feels really effortless but still like you care and you put a really amazing outfit together so I want to kind of evoke that feel of this like casual skirt vibe which is really one of my favorite things to do I love pairing like a sweatshirt with a skirt or something really oversized with something flowy and so I think I'm going to try a leather jacket that I have but I might end up layering two skirts to get this look too so we'll see what I come up with with the split skirt but I really want to go after the pattern and color play here with that casual touch so let's go after recreating this look Okay, I am so pleasantly surprised that I figured out a way to do this. I really had no idea. I thought maybe I'd have to like layer a button down or a dress or something and do something kind of similar to what I did with the Copenhagen look last week. So this is a wrap skirt over the top of a different skirt, but I folded it in half, did this like interesting kind of tie situation, but I think it ended up 
really perfect. And I love that we have this kind of pink motif going on. It kind of plays with the same idea of her sort of yellow and orange thing being in her top and her skirt. So once I had the skirt figured out, I wanted to play with the black side of the skirt so that the pink side would really just show. And I also wanted to mess with some more pattern mixing. And so I did this amazing little black turtleneck that I have that has this really fun kind of floral detail throughout and all of these kinds of colors that are in the skirt too. From there, I just threw on a little moto leather jacket. I liked bringing the tan into the outfit and then just threw on a chunky black boot. But I'll give you a little bit better look at the layers of this because it's just so dang good. So you can see this is just a skirt under here, but it has that amazing pink pop with the plaid there, which automatically made me think of this little pink wrap skirt just the colors and pattern and fun together are so cute so I'm really happy that I could figure out a way to do this and this gives me a lot of inspiration for maybe even wearing like a half tied wrap skirt over jeans or something I don't know it's just really inspiring the way that you can style clothes in ways that are just different from what they're kind of intended to do so super inspired super excited and really loving how this came together so let's keep going <laughs> This next outfit is probably my favorite from New York Fashion Week. It was one of those that came up on the screen and I just gasped because it was so beautiful and so interesting. So it is this look. I love just the chunkiness of it, kind of the heaviness of it, but there's this light kind of playful, almost Mediterranean feel with this like open weave knit crocheted skirt and top matching set. But I love that she made what could be kind of more bohemian, a little more like professional workwear look, but then threw on a little cowboy boot and a chunky necklace and just made it really her own. So I love just the colors and the patterns. I feel like the stripe and the crochet in that crocheted top and skirt kind of make like an extra pattern to this outfit. So I'm really going to go after maybe kind of neutralizing something a little more bold and crochet with the button down underneath it. I like that the button down kind of like separates the top and bottom piece and makes it more separate in like a suited form, which then I think the blazer kind of tops off that suited feel. So I love this look. I love the colors. Let's just see what we can come up with because I have no idea where we'll end up. So let's do this outfit. <laughs> Okay, this is absolutely adorable. I love the colors. I love just this fun crochet mixed with this blazer. And that was really what I was going after. I wanted this kind of suited feel, but then throwing on a cowboy boot and making it kind of quirky with the crochet details. So I have this amazing pink crocheted skirt. It also has some orange down in the fringe at the bottom, but it has that really great granny square border around the bottom too, that I really feel like evokes the same kind of idea as her sort of medallion crocheted skirt. From there, I wanted that same button down layered over the top unbuttoned. So I just did my white button down because I wanted this set to really shine. From there I tossed on a little orange crop top because I like that it still kind of played with the orange in the fringe in the bottom of the skirt and looked sort of like a set but still a little bit different and so I tied that in a little knot to accentuate my waist just a little bit, threw on a really great simple plaid blazer and then tossed on my metallic cowboy boots which I feel like match this blazer in a really great way but still have their own kind of glitzy, metallic-y fun with the finish on them. I also just grabbed a little white bag because she has that great little structured bag that she's holding. And this is just such a cute look, a very inventive way to wear those crocheted pieces without having them look too bohemian or too kind of flowy artsy. So I love this look. Let's continue styling. <laughs> This next outfit, I was really surprised with how drawn to it I was because it's relatively simple, but I think it's the juxtaposition of colors that really gets me. So it's just this outfit. This is like really easily attainable. It's just a colored sweater with a colored maxi skirt, throwing on that beautiful trench and then just adding some kind of fun accessories. So I love that it starts with this amazing green and orange. I love a green and orange combo, but I think the simplicity of the texture too with that almost like, it looks like a wool, maybe Maybe suede kind of skirt and this like eyelash sort of green sweater so again all of the texture was just all over this street style and I was living for it because I feel like this outfit even kind of just stands on its own because of the cool textures that you're putting into it but then a bright orange bag and a really classic trench coat to top it off just takes it to such a fun place so let's go style this outfit <laughs> love how the 
this look came together. It's so springy and bright and fun, but still kind of warm and cozy. So I did go with my shorter tan coat. I don't really have many long coats, and I think it's because I prefer shorter coats, but I kind of like the line of the short coat, especially with the longer sweater that I chose. I did just kind of play with the idea of her colors, and I have this amazing pattern skirt in that beautiful green and orange. So I thought this was just like the perfect way to do this. It's also a simpler kind of silhouette of a skirt too. So I started with the skirt, threw on the big chunky sweater over the top. It has some great texture, just like her little green sweater. Threw on the little shacket, and I also like that the shacket brings a kind of utility touch to it. Makes it feel kind of casual and chill just running around town. From there I just did my simple hoop earring with it because I love that she just has these simple accessories except for her super bright bag. So I did a really bright orange bag, which I love playing with the different oranges too. And there are some darker oranges in the skirt that this bag does bring out, so I feel like it's a great addition to this outfit. I also did a little bit of a chunkier boot than she has on. I just really like a chunky boot and I think it grounds the heaviness of the leather and the sweater on top too. So I did make a few changes to the silhouette to just fit my style more, but really kept with the colors and the kind of overall feel of this casual but elevated, beautifully colored outfit. So I love how this one turned out. We are gonna keep on styling. Aww. Moving on to some of my favorite street style images from Paris Fashion Week. I feel like I was really inspired by all of the more simplistic kind of outfits, or maybe there were just more simplistic kind of outfits because like the 90s minimalism thing is so big right now and then like just accessorizing some simpler outfits. I feel like it's just really trendy at the moment. So maybe that's why I'm thinking of it that way or maybe my style is just evolving, but this image really caught my eye. So no, it's not like super simple, just jeans and a t-shirt, but it has that feeling with this amazing white dress with the jeans and the black boot. But my favorite part about this look is that she took that moto kind of varsity jacket and just tied it around her shoulders in this really cool kind of shawl way. So I am definitely going to do a dress over pants which I'm always really inspired by with New York street style but I want that simple jeans and t-shirt kind of feel but making it a little longer adding a jacket and just playing around with the layers of things so let's go after recreating this look <laughs> just loving this. It feels so simple. Like I said, kind of t-shirt and jeans feel, but just really elevated and quirky. So I love the little jeans popping out at the bottom, right above the boot. And I love that I have a kind of similar silhouette of this dress because it really just feels like this image. But then adding my own touches with the kind of quilted jacket, not so like moto varsity sort of, but I like that the quilted jacket has this like fun sort of addition on the back also. And the tie in the front just feels very chic, almost scarf-like, so it just acts as a really cute accessory. But I love that she also uses some really simple accessories that are just a little different. Like her boots have, I think, toes in them, which I think is really interesting, but I just used like a little short heel kind of funky square toe boot, and then just a little tan clutch. So these outfits that are just these simple pieces kind of paired together, like this is just a simple midi dress over some jeans with a simple boot, simple bag, and then just tying a jacket around your shoulders just makes for a really interesting equation for a cool outfit that's unexpected and fun so I really love how this one came together and I will definitely be doing more jackets tied around this way because it feels very preppy but with the right jacket like her motorcycle kind of jacket or my kind of quilted bomber jacket it can just add a fun different touch to an outfit so loving this look let's keep styling <laughs> Okay, I'm absolutely living for this next outfit. I have no idea how I'm going to recreate it, but I feel like maybe it'll just be evoking the same feeling of it. So this, just everything about this is so cute. I love this quilted skirt or pants. I can't really tell, but something, it might actually be pants now. Either way, this quilted bottom with this very kind of Americana feel to it, but then this amazing puffy, almost, like um, regal royal sleeve to it with that big puff on there. But then it's kind of utility with the double zippers in the front and just pairing like the easy sunglasses, some easy little earrings. So I love how this is so over the top, but also has that simple kind of feel of just a top and pants. So I'm gonna try and find something that's quilted, something that's voluminous, maybe pairing some things in a different way that just sort of feels like this outfit rather than being like right on the nose, which is kind of the point of this anyway, to be inspired by some stuff. So let's just jump in and see what we can come up with with this amazing outfit. Let's do it. Oh, no. 
Okay, what a fun way to do the kind of patchworky, quilted sort of vibe. So I started with these amazing pants that I made a few years ago, and they just have some handkerchiefs that I sort of patchworked onto the front, but I feel like they give off a quilted kind of vibe, because I don't really have any quilted pants. I do have one pair, but they're brown, and I wanted to go a little more colorful with this. So from there, I really loved that it had this like rust and navy thing going on, so I wanted to have some kind of glitzier top, something with a little more glam and a little more drama. So I pulled this amazing vintage blouse out of my closet and it has this gorgeous gold color that I thought worked really well with the mint but also with the colors of the patchwork handkerchiefs on the pants. And though I wish I had something with this crazy voluminous sleeve that she has, I kind of thought bringing the drama in with like the high neck and the really silky fabric and then this amazing little necktie, I thought it was a kind of fun way to do drama on top that wasn't exactly like this but still kind of evoked the same quilts mixed with drama mixed with vintage fun. And I usually wear these pants pretty casual just with a t-shirt or something because they're this like flowy kind of linen -y cargo feel but I really like wearing it with a nicer blouse and then throwing on a really chic little boot and some simple hoops to just mimic her simple accessories so I'm really loving how this turned out and it's even giving me some more ideas for not only maybe thrift flipping a quilt into some pants or a skirt but wearing these pants and my other more casual pieces in kind of an elevated dramatic way so I love this let's keep styling okay this next one is one of my favorites. It's another looking at menswear to kind of inspire some really cool juxtaposition looks, but this one is just so good. So it is this amazing outfit. I love the monochrome pink. I love how bright and bold it is, but it's still just kind of chill. It's just this oversized sweater with a really oversized cardigan, some really cool kind of loose cargo-y pants, and just a simple sneaker and hat. So I really like that it feels so casual, but the pink takes it to this like fun sort of different place. And I'm sure I have some kind of pairing that will go together that way. I don't know if I'll do this exact kind of hat, but I do really like that the hat brings it to kind of a less formal place. So we're gonna do some kind of pop of accessories, some kind of monochrome look, something a little casual, a little laid back, and just get really inspired by some of these menswear pieces. So let's do this outfit. Okay, this is pretty dang cute. I really love the layers going on here and this monochromatic, but still kind of like bold two-tone thing going on. I think it's just really cute. So I started wanting to do something a little bit more casual. So I pulled out these purple pants because I knew I had a sort of sweatsuit that matched and I wanted to match my sweatshirt or top to the pants because I love that he has this like pink sweater with like the pattern on it and then the pink pants that match. But then layering the hot pink over the top of it. So it kind of has this like two-tone but so monochromatic feel to it. I don't really have anything that can do like the t-shirt with the sweater and the sweatshirt over the top of it and so I kind of liked to take one of those layers away and do something pretty casual and chill with it so I did toss on my little ball cap too I love his ball cap feel with this kind of like dapper cute outfit and then I did just take a little creative liberty and do my hot pink boots because I love that he has this red shoe that kind of goes with the outfit but also is just its own kind of pop of color so I wanted to do a little pop of color I did a hot pink boot I don't know if I would do like the hot pink boot and the hat at the same time I'm I honestly just changed the shoe to like my white sneaker but I didn't have any sneakers that were bold and I liked little bold shoe pop so I really love how casual and easy this is but still fun and bold so I'm definitely going to see how I can layer my sweatshirts and sweaters and t-shirts in some interesting ways to get these kind of monochrome casual looks so I love this let's keep styling. Okay, this last look might be my absolute favorite from Paris Fashion Week. Maybe from all of the fashion weeks, but it's just because of what it inspires in me. I feel like it's one of those things where I'm like, I've never thought to wear that piece that way. So it is this amazing image. And while I love all three of these outfits, I'm going after the one in the middle. So I love this amazing quilted kind of dress coat. I saw a few people wearing this coat and it's just amazing. The volume in it, the quiltedness in it, the belt, it's just so chic and beautiful, but I love the way that she's paired it with this sheer kind of textured turtleneck and just a simple black boot. It's a really simple outfit, but there's something so bold and fun about it. And it just immediately made me think of my orange quilt coat that I made a couple years ago or last year, maybe. It made me think of wearing that as a dress and I've just never thought of doing that before. I've wanted a quilted dress. I've just never thought of it. And so this was super inspiring for me. So we are going to use that quilt coat and probably make some 
even more bold, colorful, fun outfit with this and wear it as a dress. So let's style that up for this last Paris Fashion Week look. This turned out exactly like I was hoping that it would. I have never tried to wear this coat as a dress, which is so surprising to me because of course I've been loving all of the quilted dresses and sets that have been going on recently. And this is just so much better than expected. It's so cute. I love the sleeves kind of being rolled up and I did tuck them inside and cuff them and do a bunch of different things to make them sit like this. But I love that it shows off the turtleneck a little bit. I wanted to add some fun to it, especially since my coat is orange. So I I did this little striped turtleneck underneath and I like that it adds a little bit of that like punky kind of 90s feel and to keep it chic and show off a little bit of waist I just did a little cognac belt and I really like the way that the cognac plays with the orange in this coat and the kind of like coppery brass color of the snaps on the coat I also love that the silhouette of hers being all black just has this very cohesive feel and so I wanted to go a little simpler on the accessories so I just left my hoops in did a little chocolate brown boot because there is some chocolate brown in this turtleneck and I just love the combo. I think it's so fun and quirky and different, but still really chic and cute and very trendy with those quilted pieces. So I am positive that I'm going to wear this as a dress. Maybe not with the turtleneck since it's getting a little warmer, but it is a nice thin quilt coat. So this idea just kind of gives more versatility to the pieces that I already love. And I'm super excited to try this, maybe even like unsnapped over jeans. So I love this inspiration. Love how this turned out. So thank you so much for joining me today and recreating all of these amazing streets style looks. Don't forget to check out Parade and use my code LOVED40 for 40% 40 off of their whole website and their adorable new picnic collection. So I'll see you next week. You are well loved. Bye!